the power. A long time ago, there was the creator. We know not where it came from, only that it gave the power to create life, and it gave that life to transform. Hey guys, Professor Prime here with MyJaPlanet.com, and today, welcome to another episode of Prime Talk, and today we are taking a look at Zero One Studio Seed Primus the Creator. That's right, guys. For those of you who might remember a couple of years ago, they released a figure that was called Studio Cell, and it might have, it was originally, I think, called Zeta's Hell, and it might have caused some ripples in the community because it was a third party Unicron. That might have upset a couple people when it came to Hasbro and the HasLab Unicron. Actually, that was a little bit longer now. I think it was almost five years ago now. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments. I don't remember how long ago it was. But anyways, so it's been a while, and they've released a couple versions of the Studio Cell. They've released the Pumpkin version, which is the version that I... I purchased and Mr. J also purchased that version. There is the original version, which is a light blue color. And then there was like another version that I saw out that was like a little darker and they all range to about $3.99 a piece. And as you can see on the screen here, if you're actually looking at the screen and not listening, which you can totally listen as well, it is $296.99 up for pre-order right now on show z store now you don't have to purchase this from show z store i'm sure this is available on other toy websites i have just had nothing but luck and great things about show z store i'm not affiliated with show z store whatsoever i have just every single third party figure that i have purchased minus one third party figure actually I take that back minus three two of them i got on ebay and one of them i bought on amazon but beyond that, all my third-party Transformer figures I have purchased from Show Z Store. And not only is their customer service amazing, like anytime I've had problems like breakage, let's face it, the Dev of Savior was not the best set. They responded very quickly. And so far, every figure that I have requested, like, you know, hey, it broke. This is what happened. Here are the pictures. Anything that can and I never say, hey, I wanna I, I need it fixed right now. I just say, is there anything we can is there anything that can be done? And they'll say, Will we get back to you? Yeah, we got back, we got with the uh production, we can get you a replacement part. It'll take 10, 15 days. And here's the cool part: they don't actually charge shipping for that, they just send it to you. That's super awesome, guys. So big shout out to Show Z Store. So let's go ahead and take a look. Primus the creator. This is uh, it just looks awesome. I have not pre-ordered it yet. I haven't pre-ordered it yet. I I've going to trust me i'm going to i'm just i i'm having a hesitant pulling the trigger not because i don't want this i think this is gonna be amazing the problem is my studio cell right now is part of my 80s my transformers 86 line and i actually have a primus from transformer from i actually from age of extinction i believe yeah i think it was the age of extinction line it was if you guys want me to do a review on it i think i did do a review on it on the channel a really really long time ago and my old apartment and i don't think it's up anymore i think i lost that video but i still have the figure it was a toys r us exclusive i think it came out during the time of, tra of the age of extinction film because with the whole like unicron no no it might have been the last night it might have been the last night it was one of those two it was one of those two transformers films and they released a you know a chug size you know primus you know it was basically primus but it transformed into a full planet spear it wasn't a half planet like most unicrons were back in the day so i have one which is sitting right next it's actually on a shelf sitting next to my uh, skylinks because i don't really have a place for it and i don't really have a place for my skylinks because i don't have a war for cybertron setup which i'm going to be doing soon i'm going to be doing a room tour soon guys so uh, it's gonna happen in december i'm, I'm gonna be doing it i'm gonna do a room tour. i'm gonna do a collection tour simply because I'm going to be changing the whole thing. I guys want you to see what it looks like before I change it. Anyways, let's move on with the video because that's what you guys are here to see and find out about the creator. So, as I said, the price is $296.99. 300 bucks for this, honestly, is not that bad. It's probably going to be... It's going to be using probably the same skeleton... Same skeleton... Same skeleton function. Like, same... Like... 
overall like architect built of studio cell without it parts that's what i thought originally it is it is not an mp scale figure it is in others it's not mp scale so it's not going to scale with your mp figures so it's expects it's supposed to come out fourth quarter 2023 i don't know about that i don't know about that guys but we'll see it's made out of plastic uh abc or sorry abs plastic on it uh and here are the pictures so it has its headmaster which is the seed I don't remember. I don't remember what the. I don't remember what the. Uh, I, I want to say. I. I don't remember what the the headmaster was, guys. I don't. I don't remember what it is. I don't remember who it is. But yeah, you guys can look at this. Like this. This looks awesome. The, the color and like, like it looks like, it looks like it'd be the same mold as Unicron in terms of transformation. But I don't know because it it's vastly different. Like it, it's robot mode is vastly different. I think it might use some of the same, like some of the parts, but I like how it has like, because Unicron's like, you can basically the same on both sides. And I don't think he's the same on both sides. I think his back is completely different. I haven't seen any back photos yet, but I could, I could be wrong on that. But the missiles, the artwork on the missiles, that looks great. I love that. Those are missiles and it has the cannons. The head sculpt looks amazing. You know, it can do the hero pose, and it's got, like, these side guns. And here's the thing. The the Hasbro one that I have that's, like, 10 years old now, or not even 10 years, like, however long however long it's been since Age of Extinction or, or last night. I, I want to say it was, like, 2000... So Bumblebee was, what, 2018? So 2017. 2016, I believe, was the last night. So it's... Yeah, it was, it was actually 2016 because... That was when I moved into my new apartment, and I remember buying this at Toys R Us. Or not this guy, but I bought the the Hasbro one. So yeah, it was 2016. So it was probably the last night. But yeah, look at that. Look at that. It looks amazing. Like it, like the arch, the arch in the waist, and like the ab crunch, like the way, like that arch there, and like the like the le now. I will argue that the legs here might be a little long. Those might be a little long, but I mean. Are we gonna complain about it? No. The silver paint, the silver, the paint accents, the the hidden compartments of the of the guns and stuff like that. That's just really cool. Like, and then there's the bend. You know, it's it's not perfect. You know, it's it's not perfect with it with the knee. Like the knee kind of opens up a little bit, showing like the inside die cast. I'm assuming the knee. I'm assuming that because if I remember right, the studio cell is die cast here in the feet and in the legs. So. And like all the joints are die cast, so I can imagine this thing being the same. And then, you know, that look at that ab crunch. Look at that. That is that is amazing. Like the detail. Like, you know, usually they just like they do an ab crunch, it looks really bad, but that looks really good. Like I like that. And then here's the back. And you can see the back's a little different because you have this piece. Whereas on cell, it would actually and like the arms are different too, and like the way the panels fold. So, and then, like, yeah, the way it all folds together, it gives me a very, it gives me a strong vibe that it's the same kind of figure in terms of the skeleton aspect of it, but I, but I think it's a completely different mold. I think it's a new mold. And then I love the fact that the ring you can put on the back. So you can display, like, the display piece with the ring. I love that. I love that. That looks good. And the head sculpt, the head sculpt looks amazing. The head sculpt looks amazing. Looks great. Like, and then, like here's the artwork. So here's, like, the artwork that we saw at the beginning. But yeah, here it is, and then the planet mode, you know. And I don't know if those, I, I'm not sure if these spikes are going to be like things you have to put on when you get it. I'm guessing it's going to be just like cell. They're like little spike ple plastic pieces you got to poke in there, you know. So you don't have to put them in if you don't want to. Yeah, same of the same shots, just earlier shots. And oh, here's a different shot. So you can see, kind of see how it all comes together, you know. And it's it, this transformation is gonna be amazing. Okay, then here we go. Here it is next to Studio Cell. I knew they were gonna do one, so you you can see a lot of similarities between the two, but you can also see how there's a lot. Like this is more advanced. This guy is more advanced than him, and I I love that. I love how he's more advanced. I love that. I dig that. And they're about the same height. I would say Studio Cell is probably like maybe a half an inch taller maybe half an inch taller not i'm not counting the horns i'm just looking at the very tip of the top head and you move it over it's like it just but just 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 like maybe like a couple centimeters it's not very much it's it's not very much and then i don't know 
I don't know. And then here, yeah, I love that. The rings, I love that, how he just pops on the back. That's awesome. I love that. That's like, that's like the coolest feature. And does that, I, and now this, does it light up? That's my question. Does that, does that light up? Because when I go back up here and look at the other photo of planet, they're not, it's not lit up. You see how those are not lit up? So that makes me wonder, that makes me wonder if it lights up. It doesn't say, I didn't see anywhere. And then I like how that folds down. So you kind of get a complete, so you can different looks for the mode and then the guns fold the, no the guns don't fold up i thought they fold up so the guns might be a little bit in the way in terms of hindering of the of the head motion but it may be it may be fine and okay so here's the production of um so these are some of the you know mold i don't know so yeah that's so it's it's a little bit shorter than than a construct than the constructor concept but i don't know studio cell is still pretty big he's still pretty big like he's not massive. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think. I think I was just there. I think that's just render art. I think it's just they're like translucent yellow, and the lighting was hitting it. So and then there's a prototype shot. This has been out for a while. It was blue. Now it's purple. Here, yeah, here's some pro. These are definitely proto. Yeah, I, I, I've been. I've seen this a while ago, and I just haven't talked about it yet. But yeah, here's a. For those of you wondering, these are the uh, earlier production shots before it was painted and final renders and stuff so there's probably slight differences in detail and, and obviously color yeah see the app crunch was still there yeah yeah those spikes you can see a lot better here it's definitely going to be like you know plug in stuff so yeah it looks awesome it looks awesome there's prototypes these are all prototype render these are these are either render shots or these are 3d prints i think these are i think these are i think these are 3d renders like there and then here's the sketches like, you know, they sketched it out and they're like, and there's a blur. There's a blur. This is what's coming, but you guys can't tell. So yeah, it's, it's, that was, that was super awesome. That's super awesome. I don't think it has any lights. Does it say what it comes with? It doesn't really say what it comes with. I think it just comes with the headmaster, which, so the head comes off and it transforms. I think it comes with two heads. So I think you get one full head and then you get the, then you get the transformable head and this obviously collects onto that and then it plugs in. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. So, so in terms of accessories, you're probably going to get two different heads. Yeah. Cause there's the head and then there he is holding him. So I'm, I'm assuming that's, that's alpha Trion. I just thought of it. That's alpha Trion. That's gotta be alpha Trion, either alpha Trion or like one of the first primes, like the first prime. The one who was created from from Primus, and one of them, or it could just be Primus himself too, and and like robot mode. But yeah, guys, that's all I got today. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Do you think uh, Studio Cell, uh, Studio Seed, Primus, the creator, is worth the two hundred ninety six ninety nine? And as I was saying earlier, if you go to Show Z Store and you purchase it, you can pay the extra ten bucks a year and get premium. And so you earn three times the points and you can actually use those points to, you know, do deposits or you can also use them to, if you have enough points, you can literally just buy figures. I literally have bought figures like, like legends, not nothing like big, but I have used them. I've used my points for like deposits. So like if I decide I don't want the figure and I just lose my points, it's not a, it's I think, oh, it's not a big deal to me, you know, because there's been a couple figures that I have pre-ordered in the past. But then when they were released, I was like, I don't really have the money or I don't, I just it changed my mind. I was like, I don't think I really want that one right now. So I just like, don't, don't pay for it. I don't, I just cancel the pre-order and then, you know, I get my money back or sometimes if I get my money back or I get the points back and sometimes I, the points just, uh, I lose the points or I lose the deposit or the deposit turns into points or something like that but uh yeah guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this figure are you excited to see this figure if are you and here's the thing i know some of you might not even collect third party a lot of you that watch the channel might only collect chug figures so if you collect nothing but chug figures let me know what you think of this figure do you and i know there's a there's the moral dilemma too this is like oh it's stealing you know the ip of transformers but i mean this is a 
this is like a legit like like primus does not look like this i mean he kind of looks like that but this is like an artistic i mean it might be idw version of him too but i don't i don't remember him in the idw comics so it's been a while but i know if you guys want me to do a video a prime talk video talking about our discussing the you know the the moral implications of third party versus you know hasbro and like the chug line and official i guess you could call it you know is it wrong you know should you not support it or you know or do you so you know what i mean like that one discussion like that but let me know if that's something you're interested in guys and if you watch this long go ahead and leave a comment down below hashtag primus the creator that way i know you watch the very end of the video and i really appreciate you guys if you enjoyed this video check out this video right here on screen and as always guys until next time